So I found bird tricks when I was looking up free flying and I was looking up all the videos I could find online on free flying. So you guys came up pretty early on uh, and then I got stuck on your videos because you have the, by far the most material out there. So I got a YOLO, I found him online on a website like for rehoming parrots. I was looking specifically for a bird that was motivated to fly because I knew I wanted to free fly him and that had not been clipped. Uh, and then this girl had gotten this bird, uh, weaned him off and then realized she couldn't keep him, but he's, he just sounded perfect, had never been clipped. So sounded like a good match. <laughs> <laughs> well, clearly I blink you guys because of your looks. Um, <laughs> no, so, uh, so I picked you guys as trainers because first I had watched all of your footage or everything you have online, so I wanted to find a trainer that would be in line with that. Uh, so the source seemed like a logical choice. Uh, the other thing is I saw you guys uh, with your birds being a lot the same way I am with my dogs, and you guys made it seem like my situation was actually a great situation to have a to have a macaw that I've wanted forever so then it made just complete sense to follow through and use you as trainer <laughs> I don't understand why you guys wouldn't put me on the list with no macaw <laughs> <laughs> she did she's like put me on your wait list what kind of bird do you have um and then Kim was even <laughs> more <laughs> resistant about it it's like well you just reach back out when you have a bird and I'm like well I don't no, but put me on the list. I'll have a bird. <laughs> okay. That's why you're so reluctant. <laughs> I'm like, I really like you, but I just don't know what the situation is going to look like. <laughs> So I had my first in-home consult with Dave before actually starting the flight training course. Uh, he came over, he was in California, that worked out great. Uh, mostly to convince you guys to take me on as a student. What are you doing up there? Not a jungle gym. We'll need to rethink what will go on there. What? All right, I'll help you out. Hold on. But then he could see exactly where I was at with him, how my house was set up and everything. And I think it made it easier once we started doing an uh, online consult because like, he knew exactly what I was working with. Good boy, bud. A yellow came to me on a seed diet, seed and nuts with some color, colored pellets with it. Uh, transition was slower than I thought it would be. Um, I was all set up like Jamie, like, you know, to welcome the bird home so that he would taste a new diet and he flew off. Um, and then after that, uh, Jamie, you worked with me a lot just to get him slowly converted. It definitely worked. It took maybe two months to get there, um, but worked out. It was a lot of work at first, a lot of dishes, but you get there. Yolo's first day outside on this trip, I mean, I want to say it was just amazing, but that's because I had been waiting for it for so long. Um, but he recalled well, he learned about cars, or he learned about them more the second day. Show him the tree. Oh, there we go. Good job. Uh, but he recalled super well. He did a couple, ex a few exploratories that he didn't come back to me. He went on cars, and we trouble sh uh, shot it the next day. Um, but it was still amazing. <laughs> From this point on of the questions, you probably will get a lot of it was amazing. <laughs> Yolo actually had his first free flight before I started with you guys, but I already watched all the material, which proved to be very, very helpful because I already had started the recall training. So he flew around my house a few times, landed on a palm tree, like called back a few times, uh, and then he took off like five minutes later. I was very <laughs> surprised. Uh, took off five minutes later, came back. There was no winds. I was super lucky, but he came straight back like perfect recall 
and then I came back inside shaking. So Yolo made a friend on the first day outside, another young macaw named Jack, a little baby blue and gold. Uh, and initially it was super cool because they totally kind of motivated each other to fly and, and, and try further or, or just get going. So it was super cool. Uh, and I think for the first few days, they, they really helped each other out. There we go. Nice. Good job. Just waiting to go together. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going? I'll go if you go. There you go. <laughs> so after a few days into the trip, YOLO started being able to do like, not they're not called boomerangs, but exploratory like that I launch him. Uh, but then at that point, we he switched friends a little bit. Uh, he's, uh, we used a red fronted Amazon named Kona, and then we used Jinx uh, to go fly with him to encourage a longer flight, because sometimes he would do just a really short one. And then it's like he discovered his wings. That's so cool. Kona was a red front of Oh yeah, I can do it. <laughs> it's okay. Or you can just cut out that one. <laughs> do you want me to redo it? No. Just, just say, look at the camera and say, "Red fronted Amazon." Or because <laughs> <laughs> that will be incredibly helpful in the editing process to have you say it twice. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Yep. <laughs> Kona, what I know the, you're a macaw. What the hell is the species? Red fronted macaw. Macaw. Yes. Okay. So they just say. <laughs> red fronted macaw. And I know that Kona's a red fronted macaw. I looked at them. But yeah, just like that. And you could tell that Yolo was like, okay, well, if he's going, I want to go too. Huh? One, two, three. Good. Nice. So contact. Hey, Rachel, catch Jack. Oh, I'm just kidding. Good job. <laughs> Awesome. I think coming out here with YOLO to meet you, I mean, I expected an amazing week and I really did get an amazing week. I expected to be blown away and I was. Um, I, I feel super, I mean, incredibly stoked about everything. Um, my, my real expectation was probably like to move the training further get to a point where I would feel comfortable like starting to fly him on my own or going to meetups so that I could fly him uh, and and be comfortable with the training like with being his trainer without another trainer next to me uh, so I guess that was those were my real expectations which I think the trip has met and and above one two three go <laughs> That's pretty That's close. Okay, we can go again. Jinxie. Wanna go again, Noah? You ready? Ready? Okay. One, two, three, go! <laughs> oh, look at that. It took yellow the other way. Woo, Jinxie! Oh, that's a hard landing, bud. Good boy. Nice. That was that great. Was uh, my favorite part of the trip is YOLO flying around above me. Even the skydiving doesn't beat it. Like by last night, I had forgotten about it. I'm like YOLO flies around me. I I don't like. I don't care. I jumped off of a plane this morning. <laughs> Sorry. Poor ad for skydiving. Great ad for bird tricks. 